So we got a whole bunch of new info from the new patch PTR with a ton of new data mined NPCs, dialogues and almost concrete hints that we are going to another island off the shore of Kazaga. Apparently goblins had discovered a sinking crystal near the Isle of Dorne within an abandoned and creepy place. The Arati are building up an airship base to potentially reach it or maybe to reconnect with the mainland. The most interesting hint though is that this could very likely be the upper portion of of Beladar. This place is cloudy, we've learned from the artwork that Beladar has the ability to draw in clouds. It's likely no one had discovered the upper point of Beladar because it was covered by the weather until we did something in Hallowfall to change that. With this artwork of stairs and a door into Beladar, looks like this crystal is going to be a major part of the new content in 11.1. So let's check out all the info because there is a ton of stuff to unpack. If you want to get Dragonflight or anything else Warcraft related, Gamil has some excellent deals that you can check out with my link below. Best of all, you can get software, gift cards, a bunch of games at below market prices. On top of that, you can also use my code DORON to get yet another discount, so make sure to check out my link below and grab some amazing deals at Gamivo. So if you've been following the channel, you might have seen that I've been speculating about future Goblin content for nearly a year now and how we might be visiting Undermine, but now we have some pretty legit new information. 11.0.5 is on the PTR, so we have actually data mined a whole bunch of NPCs, dialogues that are so obviously setting up the next patch that it's definitely not even a speculation, something is going on, but we currently have about three different directions, so we don't really know what is going to come first. The biggest new content that we have in store are definitely the Haranir because we have data mined a zone with internal name Rootlands below Hellfall. In our roots of Lunar here, here, yada yada, I've been talking about it dozens of times. The Haranir are a key part of the cinematic, related to Olga's blood, related to roots, so it's very likely we are getting a zone in the depths of the Isle of Dorne. It was said by Blizzard that originally we were supposed to get five zones from this island, but we got four, as the fifth zone would spoil the main storyline if it was there from the start, so this is currently one of the strongest supported theories. Most of us expected this would be happening in 11.1 .1 as it would be kind of a natural progression, we explore the depths but we miss something. However, this new PTR info kind of came out of nowhere, like literally no one saw this coming. So the reason we've been talking about goblins for months now is that we have data mined a strange presence of them and their machinery kinda out of the blue. Furthermore, we made a decent connection with Undermine. Apparently, according to the Nerubians, there was some sort of a tunnel connecting Kazagar and Northrend, and it was likely that Kazan, Undermine, and Kazagar might share some sort of a connection. The original lore was that Deathwing's craziness caused the volcano to erupt and destroy Kazan, but the door that Blizzard had left open was that it had something to do with Azerite and Azeroth's world soul, and that the goblins may have dug too deep. With this connection and old god blood that we've learned is all over the depths of Azeroth and goblin presence and a bunch of goblin items, we've been talking about Undermine coming back. There was further evidence for Undermine because originally in BFA, Blizzard wanted to add it with the Motherlode dungeon, but then they pulled out because it'll be a cheap attempt, but we know the city has been active. However, now with PTR information, it is kinda going in that direction, but not really, and I don't really even know where to start. We've got dialogues from the goblins, the Earthen, and the Arati, and all three of them and all these NPCs are doing some pretty crazy things. Let's first go over the info and then we can figure out what could possibly be going on and let's figure out what they all have in common. So the goblins listened to a call of a singing crystal across the water but when they have arrived the place was not only eerie and creepy but it was also abandoned. First they were thinking like these are the crystals they can just dig out and sell but in fact it wasn't it was just a really strange place. Then we learned that Gazlo was apparently preparing a zeppelin to figure this this one out. Now, I gotta say, this one kinda rules out Undermine for this first batch of new content because goblins would obviously know about Kizan and their own island, so this must be some sort of a new and undiscovered place and it's probably not even that big. As we figured out, the goblins were the first ones that got this info that discovered this place and then the Earthen add on to this because they have heard about this goblin conversation, they've also learned about this discovery and the strange crystal found on an island, and then we learned they're also preparing an expedition of their own. 
they have created a new branch called Storm Rangers that are supposed to venture outside of Kazakar and lead an expedition. Lastly, we get an erotic conversation with much the same tones. We got a ton of helpful engineers and these guys are building something complex and big. We learned what they're building is in fact an airship base on the surface of the island and they much like the others are also planning the expedition. They definitely heard about the crystal but I would say that these guys must be the most interested out of all of them because they literally came to this place just because of the crystal calling them which they had also named the Emperor's Vision. Now to add a bit more info, to add a bit more context, this isn't from the PTR but we've discovered a cobalt in the Ringing Deeps that apparently is not like the others, he has some different traditions and he seems to be from some sort of an island so obviously it appears they have been building up this place from the start. So let's summarize it real quick. A new island off the shore of the Isle of Dorn with a singing crystal on it. The goblins, the Earth and the Arati are all preparing an expedition in their own manner, getting the zeppelins and the griffins. This last bit obviously indicates that we are going there with them and that the main storyline is going to be moving to this place, but what could this possibly be? So some people have speculated that this could be the undersea or some sort of another zone in between Hellafall because there is literally a sea here, but with this new info it doesn't make much sense because because it seems to be happening at the surface level. So this leaves us with two possibilities at this point in time. Either Beladar isn't unique and multiple crystals have landed over this place with possibly something splitting into at least two parts before impact or this could be the upper portion of Beladar. The upper portion of Beladar sounds kinda unhinged to a lot of people on first glance but it's actually not unhinged at all, it's all connected with the other hints. Some people have glitched through the roof of Hellafall, figured out there is a tiny bit about Beladar but that is really gameplay stuff. We have the official artwork and we know what the other side of Beladar looks like. It's literally the exact same thing, just a little bit less robust but the other side is at least as tall as the point that we can currently see. Now you might figure out, I mean sure Beladar is big but there is no way it is that big that the other side is literally on the surface level, however just think about it logically. Beladar is just stuck in the actual ceiling of Hellofall so it's only really fully piercing through one zone and that is the ringing deeps. So it's entirely realistic that the upper pointy end is somewhere a little bit off the shore of the Isle of Dorn. It's possible that the island part is like that iceberg meme and it's only a small pointy end but it is connected to the entire giant land mass below. Now another thing you might immediately say if that is the case, wouldn't everyone have figured it out if it's so close to the earth I mean they must have seen in this place by now, well the conversation seems to point to the fact that it is cloudy in there. This makes complete sense with the previous video I made a few days ago. We've got some interesting early concept art of Beladar from some of the Blizzard artists. First artwork shows that Beladar can apparently draw clouds over it where it gets completely shrouded and the other part shows that there is supposedly a door that will connect to that church in Hellafall and there's going to be like a giant staircase leading inside Beladar. It would totally make sense that now that we are messing with the bottom portion of Beladar some clouds might have cleared up and that is why the island was now found. I somehow feel like all of this is connected and that something may be going on with the upper portion of Beladar that will ultimately lead us to the doorway where we will have to deal with Beladar from the inside and this could potentially be the next raid. Now the other possibility I mentioned was that since we don't know what this crystal is it might have splintered into a small part and just landed here. However I don't think this is really that likely because we've seen what the full crystal looks like it's incredibly engineered neat straight geometrical so it doesn't really look like it's splintered off into anything overall though this might just be the content for 11.1 and looks like one of the zones is going to be off the coast of the isle of dorn and it's not just another underground layer Thank you for watching, check out the giant new titan system called the Manifold over Azeroth and check out my video on Perun and Slavic Mythology by clicking on the screen as well. See you next time!